Cycling has been one of the sports hit by doping scandal in the recent past. But International Cycling Union President Brian Cookson, who was in India for the Asian Track Cycling Championship, said that his sport has learned from the mistakes and done its best to clean it up. Well, I think there will always be t people who try and cheat in any walk of life, in any profession. There will always be a percentage of people who try and cheat. What we've done, uh, working with the World Anti-Doping Agency, is to try to make sure that our processes are as, uh, as thorough as possible, as independent as possible. So we have the Cycling Anti-Doping Foundation, which tests all cyclists now uh, in international competition. Uh, we uh, have independent judiciary bodies uh, that control uh, the uh, tribunals uh, for anti-doping so there's no possibility of a conflict of interest from someone like me uh, who might be tempted to try to cover up some bad news there's none of that possibility we have the best possible impartial standards we've reviewed all of our processes with help from outside uh, anti-doping experts and we set up the Cycling Independent Reform Commission to look at uh, all of the problems of the, past, of the past and to make sure that we don't repeat those uh, mistakes. Cookson now wants other sports to take learnings from cycling and apply to their sport with regards to doping. And from uh, being in a situation where we were in constant conflict with the World Anti-Doping Agency, we are now uh, strong partners of them. We're working in association with them and lots of national anti-doping agencies. We have full confidence and we've restored that. And frankly, I think we're amongst the leaders in sport now in anti-doping. And uh, I think many other sports uh, should take note of the work that we've done and apply it to themselves.